Hello everyone, welcome back to The Dork Side. I'm the dork on the road. This is Lil Dork, and today uh, she's gonna give you her thoughts on the Tusk Traverse pannier bags. Whoa, those. That's right, everyone. I'm the dork in the road, and I want to be your internet riding buddy, and Lil Dork wants to be your Lil riding buddy. So please drop your stuff on the ground and consider subscribing. Don't forget to turn on those notifications. So Lil is storing her snack, her lunch, her late lunch, in these, these are the Tusks Reverse bags that they sent me uh, specifically for Lil's bike. So they wanted Lil to put them on her bike, and so I want Lil to kind of give you her thoughts on them. So far, how hard were they to mount, do you think? Um. Like on a scale from one to ten, like I'm saying, like people who are like just learning how to mount bags could do it, but like it's a little bit harder. You need the instructions, but otherwise it's just pretty easy. They're universal, so you just got to kind of figure out where it goes on your bike. So we use the fender hooks here on Lil's bike, but when I had them on the Grom, I didn't use the fender hooks at all. I just used the straps to the rear rack. So if you have a rear rack, it's a lot easier to install. Um, and I, you know, there's a lot of extra here because I refuse to cut these down, but. If you knew for sure you were gonna only use them on one bike ever, that makes it a little bit easier. Um, and then finding the lower mounting point is good though. How much room do you think they have in them? Like for size, I'm sure you could shove like a jacket and a couple of other things in each bag. So plenty for a day. Yeah, they're good. Cause like they have this big compartment that's just about the whole bag. And then they have this small thing for more like important things that you need to find easily. What about, do they feel sturdy? Yeah, they're sturdy and they're also out of the way. Like I've been riding so far this day and I haven't even noticed that they're on there. That was my next question, is do they get in your way? No. And this is a small bike, that's the thing. Yeah. This is a DRZ 125, so it doesn't have a lot of room. So if you're riding a full-size bike, I think you really, really, really wouldn't notice them. I think they feel pretty sturdy, personally. I think they'll last. They're, very, they're heavy, they're a lot heavier than I expected them to be, which is good because it's confidence-inspiring, but also just something to be aware of. If you're looking for, like, the super lightest bags out there, this isn't them. But that's a 2500 denier exterior with some TPU accents. They're not waterproof. 100% they're water resistant, but the zippers are waterproof. So it would take a lot to get water in there I think and you can put dry bags in them if you want. Well, they're a really good bag and for like extra security You can you buckle these buckles so like it doesn't really compress them like it kind of does But it kind of like lifts us up if you're not if you don't have anything in here But they're still adjustable so you can fit more stuff than you think in there And if it was really full that would compress it and keep it from bouncing around Yeah, which is what they're for the point she's making is that they can compress down really small when you don't have them full But you have a little bit of room uh, and these are $99 bags, so they're very inexpensive. So it's a good option if you're looking, that's hot. If you're looking for a good entry level sort of uh, day trip. If you were super minimal, you might be able to do a moto camp trip out of them. But I think this is more like carry your tools and your survival gear and your snacks and lunch or whatever. Okay, so final verdict. If you were a young motorcyclist and you wanted some bags, would you be happy to get these as a gift? Yeah, it would be a great gift to give someone or to receive because they're not like light, but they're not like super, super heavy. So they're not, they don't like weigh you down. So, and this is your honest opinion. I'm not bribing you or telling you you have to say yeah, one thing or the other. Yeah, this is my honest opinion. Yeah, and they don't like, they just send them to us to put on. They didn't, there's no, you have to give us a good review or even you have to do a review. They just send us stuff to try and we're trying it and letting you know what we think. So it's on Lil's bike. I wanted you to hear from Lil, but... Good value, I think it's a good value. So check them out if you're interested, link in the description. Yeah, they're great bags and they'd be a great gift or something to buy yourself if you need some minimal bags. Does she have a future as like a YouTuber or what? We gotta get her making more videos, I think. She's good. She's a natural, she's better than me. Thumbs up if you like Lil giving you product reviews and leave her a comment if you think Lil should do more product reviews because I think she's pretty good. Show us what's in there. Today I have the gourmetest meal ever. Excuse me. In my Ziploc bag. And you can even tell, this is how you know they're good bags. Um, the chips aren't crushed to powder. Not crushed at all. All right, I hope you enjoyed this short, quick, in the field review from Lil. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you got some useful information out of it. Check out that link below. But for now, and as always, we just want to say, please do not forget to be excellent. To each other. <gasps> Thank you. Excellent. Say it. I did with you. Say a thank you. I thank you. I thank it. Gazinte. You said a thank you with me? Yes. Oh, you picked up what I was putting down. <laughs> I was trying to get you to say it with me. This screen is rad. It's cool. I like this camera a lot. It's cool.